If your coats don't make you feel like this, then I believe it's time to reevaluate your coats. My coats never made me feel like that either until I started finding the kind of coat that made me feel like I wasn't drowning in it, like I was a woman, like the coat was made for me. And recently I started searching nonstop for the perfect coats, the kind that look tailored. I know what I had in my mind, but let me tell you, it is really hard to find coats that complement a woman's body. At the end of this video, I have another subscriber's closet as well as a vanity to share with you, so please stay tuned till the end to see them. If you look anywhere nowadays, it's just straight, they are really loose and baggy, and while that's okay for some, there are some of us that love to highlight the feminine figure and we're not ashamed of it and we are fearlessly feminine and we want that to be reflected in the way that we dress even in the winter time so that is why i have just gone on such a hunt for them and thankfully i've been able to find some really beautiful ones i still feel very limited as far as what's out there um, I know that I personally would love to see beautiful colors, all different tones, shades, etc. And that's something that I would love if I ever had my own shop. 
that I would definitely have dresses, but I would also have coats because you know what? When it comes to the winter time, it doesn't even matter what dress you're wearing. It's all about the coat, at least for me. I mean, when I walk into a restaurant or anything where I'm going out or even the grocery store, etc., I'm not taking my coat off when I go in there. And that is a um, interesting fact that I learned about um, when like, Kate Middleton, for example, when she would put on a coat, I think it was, I don't know if it's against the rules or just wrong or just um, rude or I don't know. I remember reading something about when Kate Middleton puts on a coat, you're not supposed to take it off whenever you go out anywhere. So when you have a coat on, you are not going to take it off. That is your outfit for the day wherever you're going. So that was something interesting. Um, I could be wrong about that, but I remember reading something like that. Well, I feel that whenever I go somewhere, I rarely ever take my coat off. So even when I go to worship service, for example, I typically wear my coat the entire time because they are just trying to regulate the temperature in there. And usually when it's cold outside, I'm usually, it's so hard for me to warm up anyway. So that's why I keep my coat on. And I feel that when you go out, especially in the winter time or in the fall, winter, usually you will just be seen in your coat. So that's why a lot of the dresses that I wear, I can transition from the summer, you know, spring, summer time, even into the fall, just depending on the colors. Um, sometimes depending on the fabric, I really don't wear maxi dresses in the winter time. Um, I'll wear them in the fall if it's kind of warm. We do have very mild temperatures here. So if it's not too brisk of a day, I don't mind wearing it out. They're the perfect thing to wear in the wind. But I know this isn't about dresses, but wearing, pairing the right coat with the right dress is very important. So I am here as your coat expert to let you know that I have failed at this at times too, only because I've been at the mercy of what has been out there, what has been available. It's been so nice that midi dresses have come back into style. And with that, I know that there are coats that are now longer. Whereas before, a pea coat that I would use, that I used to wear, I, I've always looked for pea coats. And sometimes I would find some really great ones, but they were always just a little bit too short. They came up above the knee. And that was great when I was wearing jeans or pants. Um, but when I started wearing dresses 100% of the time, I finally started finding dresses that were the perfect length, in my opinion. And what comes with that, especially when you're getting into the winter, is you want to have a coat that is going to extend past the length of your dress. Now, I know that, you know, sometimes we don't have that option. We don't have that luxury of being able to enjoy a coat longer than our dress, especially if you are a dress lover like myself. But let me tell you, when you can find a coat that extends past the hem of your dress, then that is the sweet spot of a coat. And it just steals the show. You are that leading lady when you can find a coat that highlights everything that you want it to. It's not too tight, but it's not too loose either. So that is something that I have just been on the hunt for this, you know, these past few months. And thankfully I found so many even on Poshmark. So those trench coats that I have, the navy blue one and that kind of, I don't want to say it's a hunter green, but it's a green, um, and a green that I've never had in my wardrobe. And surprisingly, I just love it. I mean, there are other colors that I would prefer to wear more than that, but like I said, those are the ones that were available and I was going to try out green, and I'm happy that I did. I think that green pairs well with blush tones as well as rosy hues. And I look forward to sharing in future videos just how I'm going to be pairing these coats with different dresses and accessories, etc. So if you would like to see that, please let me know in the comments below. 
I had all of the different color shoes out as well. That was like a little hint at some of the accessories that I'm going, well, some of the shoes that I'm going to be pairing with these dresses or the coats, sorry. Um, you can go monochromatic or you can also just pair it with a pair of blush or like nude flats, something like that. So that's why I wore those flats in that whole um, intro video is just to show you how versatile it is. To um, When you get a colored coat, you don't have to be so nervous about not being able to wear it with so many different things, especially if you go neutral with your shoes. But then again, you can also do monochromatic looks. I also know that some people love to have a statement shoe or something like that. Now, I love variety with my coats because I some dresses, I feel like when I wear, say, a navy dress, I don't want to pair that with something so light as the blush trench coat that I had. I feel like that gives it a really odd look. And that goes with so many different pairings. So I wanted a couple of different shades in each color. So that's why you can see the lighter pink tone or the blush tone. And then I have that burgundy coat, which um, there are some different variations that I would love to have. I would love rose color, um, a rose color coat, a mauve one, something that is a bit more muted. I know that that would work so much better with my skin color. And then also um, going into the blues, I have a light blue, just that sky blue color, as well as a navy blue. So the navy blue pairs well with so many different things, of course, but especially because it's so dark, then I can wear it with those darker dresses that I feel kind of clash with the other lighter tones. And then of course, going into the green, I have that hunter looking green. And then that of course pairs well with cream. This cream dress I wore under all of them and I think that it looked really great. Um, and then also pink would look great with that as well as other colors, of course, and then going into the emerald. The emerald was really a neat find because that was an actual vintage coat. I found that on Poshmark as well. Um, it was pretty inexpensive, in my opinion. There really isn't wasn't anything wrong with it. I think that there was a little spot maybe on the back, and it wasn't even something that stood out to me when I got it. So, um, but I am recalling that there was a picture of that, but it's just in such great condition. And while it doesn't have the exact shape that I love in a coat where it really cinches in at the waist, it does have a nice shape to it and it is long enough, but it's not so long that it works well with a lot of the dresses that I have. So it did work well with this dress because this one is a bit shorter than a lot of the other dresses that I have. But um, that's just something that I wanted to share with you is how you can really pay attention to the hemlines of your dress and how it will just make, it will elevate your whole entire look if your coat extends past that hemline. Of all people, I know how hard it is. I know how disappointing it is when you go into a store and you can't find a coat that you love. I am going to share with you that I have been loving some of the coats that I've seen on Etsy. They make them to order and it's all in the size that you want. You can also choose the color of the coat itself. This is not something that I've done yet, but I did recently order a dress off of Etsy and I could not be happier. It is almost like the perfect dress. It fits in all the right places. I look forward to sharing that with you soon. But shopping from Etsy when it comes to more of the handmade items that you are looking for, especially those tailored items, I would encourage you to shop Etsy for that. There are so many different options available that you would not find in the big box stores. You just don't see the kind of construction on coats anymore that were in years past. So that is always why I look to the vintage styles when it comes to coats, because it's like they knew exactly how to uh, dress the woman's body, in my opinion. Um, I think that 
there was just something so unique about that and beautiful and that's what I hope to continue to find are more vintage inspired coats ones that have a beautiful tailored shape to them that definitely flare out at the bottom because it just it really makes one look so elegant and beautiful and the whole silhouette just looks beautiful in my opinion and now it's the moment you've all been waiting for to see another subscribers closet and just their special spaces so today I have Anne Matlock's oh Matlock I loved Matlock did anybody else love Matlock please let me know that in the comments below but let's get back to the subscribers closet as well as her um, just her area to get ready so she's worn skirts and dresses her entire life and wouldn't ever think of changing she loves how modest and feminine they are and especially in what is severely lacking in today's world she says that um, she wanted to share this space which she has her wardrobe. She also has some beautiful blue shoes up there, some blue heels. She says, you'll see my dresses and skirts hanging in my closet area. My sweaters and tops are in the other part of the closet next to my husband's things. And the other pictures are taken in our bathroom where I keep my makeup, etc." So she has a little plaque with a hook there that says hers and she has her um, dressing robe hanging there and then she also has a nice corner shelf where she has those things that she loves to use to get ready and I just love how she displayed everything and just made it a special space instead of cramming it full of you know just other things lots of clothes etc I just love how Everything just seems to have a place here. So I think that that's really great. Now, switching over to the vanity or dressing table section, this is Nikki Darley's. And let's take a look at her dressing table here. She has a beautiful dressing table. I love all the storage in this space. She has five drawers. She has a mix of things on top. Everything looks nice and organized. And then of course it has a cute little stool there as well. I love the trifold mirror. That's something that my dream vanity has a trifold mirror to it. So thank you so much ladies for sending in your closet as well as your dressing table. It means a lot to me that you participate in this. I still have so many to go through. Don't think that I've forgotten you if you've sent in yours. And I do let you know or at least right before or right after when I do post the video that um, I've shared yours in an upcoming video. Thank you so much Anne and Nikki for sending in your pictures. That means a lot to me and I know that you've inspired many. So if you can't tell, I am just absolutely passionate about finding the right coat. I think that it will change your whole entire look. You don't even have to worry about what you're wearing underneath if you have the right coat. And still, your whole outfit would look pulled together the same way that you look pulled together when you wear a dress. It's just one and done, you are good to go. Now, finding the right pair of shoes, that's a whole other thing when it comes to coats. I understand that, and we're not getting into that. But I did share some colors with you of you know different shoes that I had that I would pair with my coats. I also have some other ones on the way, and I really look forward to getting those. You've been going a little crazy with the colors, Nikki. I thought that you loved blush. Yes, I do, but I also love velvet, and I have found a new love of just colored shoes and also the right style of shoe, I would say. So I look forward to sharing those in upcoming wardrobe videos, especially with pairing these coats and different things that I'm going to be pairing with them. But overall, I just wanted to share with you how wonderful finding the right coat is and how it can completely transform your look. You don't have to drown in the coats that they have today. You can find something that can really suit your shape and just be fearlessly feminine. 
So thank you so much for joining me today. I really hope that this inspired you in some way. And also, I would love to know in the comments below, have you found your favorite coat? What is the brand name? And what is your favorite shape of a coat?